Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the DirectX function get device removed reason failed with DXGI error message. So this error is usually caused by the graphics driver crashing. Try installing the latest drivers. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in DX, D-I-A-G, best match to come back with that. So go ahead and open that up. It's basically the DirectX diagnostic tool. Go ahead and select yes. And then you can go ahead and select next here. If there's any issues found, it should help you pinpoint what the problem is down in the notes section down here. There's something else we can try here as well. If you open up the search menu and type in update, best match, go back with check for updates. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select advanced options and then scroll down underneath additional options. And you want to select optional updates. Go ahead and left click on that. If there's any optional updates available in here, go ahead and install them. And then finally, you can also go ahead and just close out of here as well and open up the search menu. Type in device manager, best match, come back with device manager. Just go ahead and open that up. Expand the display adapter section. Right click whenever display adapter is listed under here and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then I would recommend selecting the manufacturer one over a generic driver. And then select next and then give it a moment here. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and actually restart your computer. And you can also go in a further step and actually go onto the manufacturer's website of your graphics card, so whether it's AMD or NVIDIA perhaps, and go ahead and download the latest drivers from there. So that's another thing you can take a look at as well. And that's pretty much it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.